My solution is unity. Okay, that's my that's my solution. And then they are flashbangs going off near my house. So I'm gonna be expert in speeding this up. Fast track, orange man. He's speeding this up because I do want to go over it and film that. But I want to say quickly that there, there, there's a way of unity to get around this. People talk about how often we're pulled over in cars over areas that are over police, how we get tickets for nothing, how this affects our livelihood, our ability to pay rent, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay, then let me offer this to you. What if we quit arguing about race? What if we all joined together and said, we are not paying any tickets? We're not paying any. We're not doing. We're not. Well, when people say, if you do that, then in time, they're going to arrest you. All right, buddy, you know who they're going to arrest? They're going to arrest the worst offenders, the people that were slamming beer. That's who they're going to arrest. They can't arrest everyone. They don't have enough jail space. So let's say we could get 10 to 20, maybe 30% of the population to not pay your tickets, not buy your reinstatement fees, not get your licenses, and then keep driving. Don't buy car insurance. Keep driving. If they pull you over, you keep driving. They can't arrest everyone. Hold on one second. I do have to. Wow. They can't arrest everyone. I have to step away for one second, and I really, really don't want to, but in very important dealing with another matter, do give me just one quick second here to deal with this rapidly. I will be right back. Do not tune out. I told you not to tune out. I'm already back. Okay, so friends, the idea would be that if everyone said no, I am not going to pay my car insurance. I'm not going to pay any of your tickets. I'm not going to pay any of your reinstatement fees. And then you just keep driving. If you've got 20 or 30 percent of the population doing this, they can't arrest all of them. They can only arrest those who are the biggest offenders. So before someone on my comment line says, what about somebody with 50 beers and just driving around and mowed somebody over. That's who they're going to save jail space for. They can't jail everyone if 25% of the drivers in any one state decide they're not going to do this crap anymore. But do you want to know something? There's a better than average chance that we can't get that done. Because that means the white people, black people, Asians, and everybody else would have to have enough unity to bring the system down to not be given tickets in over-policed areas, to not have your pocketbook raped at the drop of a hat. That's the solution to this. Not arguing about race, not seeing how many beers you can steal, steal out of a store and the new TV you can get on the blood of a dead man. That is not helpful. So if you wanna know what helpful is, I just gave you helpful friends. And I know that I've been talking for 23 minutes so far, so I'm going to get on to the rest of the show, and then I'm going to go see if those were fireworks. I'm assuming they were, because I don't have, I don't hear any siren. I do have someone that works uh, in tandem with law enforcement in the house, and he's one of my sources. Do you have any information on what that was? Uh, not yet. I mean, you were going to possibly check what's going on, but they are literally walking like, All right, so I'm, I'm on certain full, so I'm going to hurry this up so that I can go over and film this. But I do have to go to the last couple of articles I have, including the winner of the Dump Capital Month. So we're going to do that now, and we're going to move it along pretty quickly here. Um, this was actually sent to me by the person you heard off camera. Um, he tagged me in, and I knew it was going to be on the Dump Capital Month show. And I just want to read this paragraph to you. Um, this is from the Daily Wire, dated March 31st, but it's a little older than I normally put on the dump cap of the month, but it was so dumb I couldn't miss it. You're not going to want to either. Daily Wire, March 31st, 11, 20 a.m. The United States, and united I wish, the United States has slowed the spread of the coronavirus, but there's one scourge 
whose vitality is only increasing. Fake news. We will examine the most egregious examples that's talking about on his show. Then, in an effort to combat COVID, a Democratic mayor politely asked criminals to chill. Let's just stop robbing things. That's, a, that's brilliant. I'm sure that'll work. And the New York jail releases a bunch of child molesters. Now, I understand that you have to let some people out. Let me ask you a question. Why didn't they let the person out of jail who was the recreational drug user who didn't bother anybody? Why did they pick child molesters? Why did they pick some of the most dangerous people in society to do this to? That is what the Dove Capital Month Award is all about, friends. So you're going to want to question that. We're going to look it up. And uh, I got two left. Again, I'm moving along here because I, there's video I want to shoot, and I don't have the behind-the-scenes queen with me anymore, which sucks because, quite frankly, it would be very helpful. I don't have anybody doing this. Thing. So I, I brought you a video from Cleveland. Uh, the, I'm sorry, I brought you a video from the Akron protests, the Canton protests. Uh, the gentleman in my house with me, we all risk life and limb to film the shoe store because no, nothing says to stop police brutality like finding a reason to steal a new pair of shoes on the backs of a dead man. Um, I've been doing that for you. I'm going to keep up with it. Uh, this is a real quick. I've got two left. This was just funny. It doesn't fit into the show at all, so I'm going to make it really quick. But people, if I get too serious, you know I like the silly stories. If I do too silly, then you know you should be more serious. About 200 goats escape roam the streets of East San Jose. Uh, this is NBC Bay Area. This is something you don't see every day, much less during a quarantine. A tribe of goats went wild Tuesday evening in the neighborhood in East San Jose. Terry Rowans said the hill behind his home caught on fire about 15 years ago, and since then, they use goats a few times a year to clear the brush. Wise idea. On Tuesday evening, one of the goats was eating flowers over a fence and somehow trapped one of the, it got trapped in one of the electric fences, causing it to break, and of course, goats were everywhere. They look a lot like, you know, they, they, look, they look as aimless as some of the protesters. And again, I say some of them, because I just told you there were many to whom I supported. Supported them very much. One woman talked about how she was raped, and when they did the investigation, they started asking, the police were asking her friends if she was promiscuous. I'm sorry, the last time I went to school, if a prostitute sleeps with 50 people and one guy she says no to and he joins her, that's rape. Right. So yeah, the police were wrong there. I'm not saying that every speaker was wrong. But anyway, all of a sudden they got into our driveway and it was very exciting to see, but I was a bit nervous. If you're nervous about goats, I can't wait to see how you're reacting during the riots. Anyway, about 200 goats escaped through the backyard, ran into the street. So look up the uh, Twitter page of Zach Rollins, Z-A-C-H-R-O-E-L-A-N-D-S, for more on that. And that brings us, friends, to the Dunce Cap of the Month winner. This may get the Dunce Cap of the Year. Now, here's one of the things that angered me. And I told you before that I was going to tie this in, even though it's on the other side of the world, into what I'm talking about. I gave you the numbers, right? 40 people, 40 unarmed people in 2019 were shot by police. 19 of them were white, 9 were black, 9 were Latino, and 9 were other. Do you know that cancer only affects black people? Guess what? It doesn't. Cancer affects everyone. Do you know what we have in Fukushima, Japan? We have an ongoing nuclear disaster. Alex Jones said you could define it scientifically as a tiny little neutron star that's burning its way into the Earth in Japan. It's been going on since 2011. Thyroid cancer has spiked higher than the national debt. Not a word. This is going on. General Electric, who's supposed to bring good things to light, that's who TEPCO is. That's who owned the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They were warned ahead of time not to open the nuclear power plant on the coast of Japan for the remarkable reason that Japan was made by an earthquake and will one day be taken out by an earthquake and tidal wave. 
And he says, not all just the same ones who are warning now that the same thing is going to happen in Iran. And I've said for years that even if Iran was suddenly the beacon of peace and joy, that they were they couldn't build there because of the earthquake that's going to hit during the lifespan of the nuclear plant, which they want to build there. The same voices warned General Electric, Kevin. They warned them about this. They didn't listen. They went after the good of the bottom dollar. They built the nuclear power plant on the coast of Japan, put up a, a 10 foot wall, 30 foot wall. They were hit by what, a 100 foot wave. <laughs> exactly, exactly what we said. That is negligent homicide. Now, stay with me. A rogue cop kills one person, and we're burning down everything that we see. We're blocking streets. I'm right. The 12th and Fulton that my friend was just talking about is on the way to the hospital. One of the two major hospitals, but the, the only two real hospitals in Canton, Ohio. There's some in Mass, but I'm not going to split hairs. Yeah, going down towards Tusk. Two friends here. Going down towards Tusk. Okay, so in Tusk is where the other hospital is off of. So we're blocking. This is why you can't just row and protest anywhere you want. It's not that they're saying somehow that you don't have the right to protest. What they're saying is that you don't have the right to block traffic, taking people, that would be black people, that would be white people, people, to the hospital. So we have half of the country burning as I speak because one man was killed due to homicide. Meanwhile, General Electric built a nuclear power plant on the coastline of an earthquake zone. Thousands, if not millions of people will get heart disease, cancer, they will have bad immune systems. They'll catch every illness that comes down the pipe. People say, oh, I'm not that concerned about it. I'd be dying sometime anyway. Nuclear poisoning isn't like a bullet. You don't just die. You suffer and get sick for 30, 40 years, then you die. You get pregnant and wonder why your kid's missing an arm or has a, you know, growth or he's autism or has whatever. Millions of people will be affected by this and no one cares including our Delta Cap of the Month award winner, the first servant. Courthouse News, Courthouse Service News, take two. Courthouse News Service, got a lot live. First Circuit clears GE on Fukushima nuclear disaster. Protesters? No, freaking crickets. Boston, CNN. General Electric will escape scot-free for its role in designing and maintaining and ignoring the scientists and the seismologists, I might add. The Fukushima nuclear power plant that was hit by a tsunami and caused billions of dollars in damages. The First Circuit ruled Friday. The court rejected, it goes on, a lawsuit brought by 150,000 Japanese individuals and their businesses who said they were economically devastated on March 11th when an earthquake unleashed a 40-foot high tidal wave and overwhelmed the plant. I said 100, I was wrong. Causing an explosion and a massive release of radiation. Now, if you can't see how foolish this is, then maybe I'll be sending a dump's cap to you. Under Japanese law, all claims related to the disaster must be brought against TEPCO, short for the Tokyo Electric Power Company. Look it up, it's GE, it's just the Japanese arm. Either in a lawsuit or an administrative proceeding, TEPCO has already paid out $80 billion in claims. Yeah, because we know $80 billion is going to cure him of his cancer, partially subsidized by the Japanese government. Meanwhile, we don't have the technology to even get into the plant to see what's going on. And if that topples, if the, they have the fuel pools with the spent nuclear rods, three stories in the sky, if that already rickety structure falls, some estimates have said that the northern hemisphere could be unlivable. Now, even if that's only, let's say they're lying by 80%. We're talking about 20% of the Northern Hemisphere due to the jet stream being in danger of being uninhabitable or extremely toxic to living. No one cares. No rioting. Nothing. People will go out and buy General Electric, this, that, and the other, and never even think. They'll buy mutual funds that have General Electric in it, and they'll just keep on funding it. They'll just keep on subsidizing it. 
blissfully unaware of any of this. The head federal judge, Massachusetts U.S. Chief U.S. District Judge Patty Saris, dismissed the lawsuit in April 2019 on a forum of non-convenes ground, saying the case could be brought between brought in Japan because an adequate remedy for the plaintiff's injuries existed there. And as it has gone on, they have now completely found them non-liable. I don't know about you, but I saw somebody needlessly kill a black man on the street, and I'm seeing the cities burn. General Electric has poisoned how many? We're going to play the race card fine. For reasons that we don't fully know, more African Americans and whites get certain kinds of cancer. Okay, so where where is the where is the outrage here? Well, friends, I do have some outrage on my end. Well, you can just say, what did you find? Security alert: We have received notice there is a hit list, including anyone in uniform. Stay alert. All Northeast sector staff respond to your office or contact immediately. Right here, needed. This is what. Oh, 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 it's uh, on the hook by the microwave. So that's where my friend is going, by the way. So we got the city burning here. We've got, my, you know, we've got all this going on. And what do we, what do we have? We have General Electric openly getting away with it. So let me go ahead and give you real quick here the dunce cap of the award that I'm going to show you, and uh, also, of course, show you the hat and the award and everything I always do. I simply have to find my own award because I don't know how to use my own computer. All right, um, okay, all right, and here we go. Here's the hat. Let me start with that while I'm finding the rest of this here. I think I had it pretty good on this hat. I, I, again, not, not to go back to what I said earlier, I liked it more when I, I had help on the show, particularly the very talented help that I had. But you go, who was it? Rumsfeld said you go to war with the army that you have, not the army that you wish you had. So real quick here, let me go ahead and, yeah, there it is. Here is the award, Dots. Of course, it says Dots. What else am I gonna say? Um, this is why people rightfully do not trust the courts. My other little cartoon here is a nuclear power chimney. It says Techno GE brings good things to life. And then this little cartoon guy here says, by good things, do you mean cancer, illness, and death? I'll make sure these people on low down can see each other near side. My bad, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it. And my last cartoon, I've got two more left, I'm sorry. This guy is saying, wait, so I run a person down while I'm drunk, I may get negligent homicide or involuntary manslaughter, but Tepco does not for poisoning millions of people when warned not to open a new plant there. And of course, I drew an atom. It's not a very well drawn atom. It says the peaceful atom has killed millions, and the adults in the first circuit just ran cover for murder. Okay, and here we have the actual award. Now, if you want to see it, I, I don't have a printer yet. So um, here is what the award says. Again, if you want to see it, go to my Facebook page, Samuel Degangi, D I G A N G I. You can search the correct views. It's on Facebook. The actual dunce cap of the month award, if it will open, which I guess seems to be a rather big hit, says, doom, do, 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 do. Oh, come on. I love, don't you, don't you love live? You just gotta love live. It's coming. At least I think it's coming. Yep. I'm finishing up my show. Grab a seat. Uh, and I can't get this stuff. It's remarkable. 
So if it open, and how about this, friends? If it opens, I'll actually read you what the award says. If not, I'll just post it on my page because my computer is giving me this thin blue circle, and I do want to get to filming the chaos, which I think is down the street from my house. Uh, it's like 15 that far down there, and I'll know. Uh huh. Oh, I'll be Phil. I might have missed it, but that's okay. I missed it. I missed it for the show by doing the show, friends. So you really, you really can't be too angry at me for that. Um. Hopefully. All right, here we go. It says the Dunce Cap of the War, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, Tepco GE was warned about a tidal wave, an earthquake of the magnitude's hit was going to happen during the life of the plant. They chose to build it anyhow. Tepco, after putting the dollar above sound science, has now caused cancer rates to spike and has covered up the death. Tepco has guaranteed cancer, heart disease, bone problems, and poor health for most of the northern hemisphere. For choosing to help them cover up and to hide from justice, you, at the First Circuit Court, are complicit in the crimes, and for that, you win the Dutch Cap of the Month Award. That is going to be sent to the court. So if you would like to help me pay for that to happen, I would greatly appreciate it, because mailing these damn things out are very expensive. You can donate at the correct views of hotmail.com through PayPal. All the money you give to me goes towards the show, and that is what I would like to bring you. So I hope I brought some insight and thought and reasoning into the debates this evening. I hope that you do put some of what I said to some serious thought. And if you want to leave comments that I'm racist or that I'm this or that, enjoy your First Amendment rights. You can call me the Easter Bunny if you want to. It doesn't really matter. But I do thank you for tuning in, friends. Good night. God bless.